this is uh, the last experiment uh, in hydraulic equations lab. Impact of jet on winds. Kindly recall, continuity equation Q is equal to A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. Now, A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. The discharge flowing in the pipe remains the same between two sections. But if you decrease the cross section area or increase the cross section area, the velocity at the other point either increases or decreases. So, in case of the impact of jet at the end of the pipe, so by introducing a nozzle, the velocity of the jet can be increased. Now, if this jet of water strikes a, a plate, whether it may be vertical or inclined or curved, this force it exerts a force on the plate. That force we call it as impact of jet. This is what uh, you uh, studied in the theory. Now, based on that, we have this experiment. We have three cases. One is a flat vent. Next one is an inclined vent. Okay. Next one is hemispherical vent. Now, this is uh, kind of recall. You studied three directions. One is a vertical plate, inclined plate, and thermal plate. Whatever you studied in the theory, again here we have three cases. The flat plane is already fixed inside. Okay. Now this is an inclined plane. The value of theta in this case is 60 degrees, and this is the hemispherical plane. Now this experiment is very simple compared to other other experiments. Now this is a nozzle. Okay. Remember, there is a pipe. At the end of the pipe, if you connect this nozzle, okay, the jet coming out of this nozzle is at a very high velocity. So when this jet of water when it comes and strikes the wave, whether it is a flat wave or a curved wave or a inclined wave, okay, that we call as what is known as impact of jet. Now, what is the aim of the experiment? The aim of the experiment is to find the coefficient of impact. What is this coefficient of impact? Coefficient of impact is given by actual impact divided by the theoretical impact. Theoretical impact is always more than the actual impact. Now, in this case, how to find the theoretical impact? Now, theoretical uh, impact is given by kind of recall in case of a vertical uh, plate, f of x is given by rho a v square. Okay, rho is the mass density of water, A is the cross sectional area of the nozzle, and V is the velocity of the jet of water. Okay, that is in case of a flat wind. Now, in case of an inclined wind, it is given by rho A V square into sin theta, where theta is the angle between the jet and the inclined plane. I said this is a 60 degree inclined plane, therefore it becomes sine 60 degrees. Now, in case of a curved plane, say f of x or this theoretical impact is given by 2 rho a v square. Again, I repeat for a flat plane, it is rho a v square. For a inclined plane, it is given by uh, rho a uh, v square into sine theta, and in case for a as circular or a semi hemispherical wave, it is given by the theoretical impact is given by 2 rho a v square. Now, as I mentioned this, I mentioned uh, at the beginning, this experiment is very, very uh, simple. There are two, three nozzles, already one nozzle is fixed. Now, the different nozzle uh, dimensions are mentioned here 4 mm, 5.2 mm, 6 mm. Now fix the nozzle, okay? Fix the wind, whether it's a flat wind or an inclined wind or a curved wind. Now, once you fix this flat wind or curved curve wind, okay? Close this shutter firmly. Now I close the shutter. Now, in this case, in order to find the actual discharge, straight away you can measure the actual impact. Now that is using this uh, lever or mechanism. Now using this lever or mechanism, you can straight away measure the actual impact or the actual force. Now to begin with, okay, make adjustments such that this wave 
shows zero. How to make it zero? The moment once you fix the wheel inside, there is a counterweight here. Using this counterweight, you adjust this counterweight such that this weight shows zero. This is zero. Already you fix the wheels inside and also the last one. Now start the motor. Once you start the motor, there is a meter directly gives you how much is a discharge coming out from the centrifugal pump. Okay, the water is supplied from the centrifugal pump, you know the discharge. This discharge is in liters per minute. So convert this into uh, uh, meter, meter cube per second, or I will tell you afterwards, so you know the value of Q. Now, the water is emerging out from this nozzle and it starts striking the wind. When it starts striking the wind, you are measuring the actual impact of uh, using this scale. Note down the actual impact, note down the diameter of the nozzle, note down the value of Q. Okay, so repeat this procedure for different values of Q. Again, I repeat, repeat this procedure for different values of Q. You may, you may repeat for three or four trials for each diameter and for different uh, type of weights. Now, straight away directly you can read the actual force. Now, the theoretical force is given by f of x is equal to rho a d square. Now, this is in uh, kgs. Actual uh, impact is in kgs. Multiply that by 9.81 automatically will be converted into newtons. That's the first thing you need to do. Now, let us talk about the flat wave. F of x is equal to our theoretical impact is given by rho a v square. Rho is 1000 kg per meter cube. A is the area of the nozzle. You know the diameter of the nozzle, you can easily calculate the uh, area of the nozzle. The next one is velocity. Velocity is equal to Q divided by A. So Q directly you are measuring your liters per minute that you convert into meter cube per second. Okay, liters per minute that divided by 60 automatically to be converted into liters per second. Now one liter is one by thousand of a meter cube. So using that formula, you convert that into meter cube per second. Now you have the value of Q, you already calculated the value of A, Q divided by A will give you the value of V. Now you have all the values, substitute the values and calculate the value of F theoretically. Now you have the F actual, F theoretical. F actual divided by F theoretical will give you the coefficient of velocity. Now this procedure is, uh, is said whether it is a flat wheel or an inclined wheel or a curved wheel. Okay? See now the experiment now is impact of jet on wings. We have three jets over here and three wings. The three diameter of jets are varying here, which is 4, 5.2 and 6.2. And three wings you have. See this. I'll just show you the jet as well as wings. One which is fixed is a flat wing. Flat wing. Then you have inclined wing. You have an inclined wind, that is the inclined wind. Inclined wind. Then you have a hemispherical wind. That is the hemispherical wind. And you have three jets of nozzles, diameter 6.2. This is, this is 6.2. With the help of diameter, you can vary that or you can find the value of that. Then you have 4.4 and 5.2. 4 and 5. Now the Basically, how you set up this experiment is you will connect the nozzle onto that pipe over there, nozzle onto the pipe of some diameter which there you have been given that is 5.2 or 6.2 or 4, whichever you want, you can connect that onto that. Once you have connected, then you have to uh, fix the uh, vein also. The vein is fixed, and then you have to adjust the adjust the balance over there such that there is a minor uh, touch onto the actual force. The force is onto the top of that 
uh, experiment that force when the pressure from the nozzle uh, hits the uh, flat plate there is a force acting that force you are going to note it down now switch on the motor once you switch on the motor you have a wall over there at the bottom so that wall is rotated anti clockwise very slowly if you rotate it very uh, fast what happens there is a sudden jerk of the water and you can change see the difference over there so you have to set that water to the rotometer rotometer you have to set that to 10 15 and 20 and there are three conditions here also three trials of reading 10 15 and 20 whereas in four jets of water dia you will take the reading mark 10 12.5 and 15 and you have a delivery pressure over there you are noting down the delivery pressure actual force on the top this actual force you are noting down you are noting down the delivery pressure you are setting the rotometer to 10 meter that is nothing but uh, liters per meter, uh, meter of water lpm of water lpm of water 